we're going to put the wheel in so I take the other quick release off. Pull that out, make sure I don't lose my spring. And again, I would put this in my bag, the ever-present theme of putting everything you take off in a bag so you don't leave it behind. And we let the air out. Notice I've got everything padded up at this point. I like to put this towel or a towel over the crank just to kind of protect it. You got the teeth there and stuff and so it's nice to just cover this up and you can kind of tuck it in around the sides and it pretty much will stay there. Like that. All right. And then at this point you've got this on like this and you can swing it in like just kind of sit it right there. Now this will shut at this point with um, that in there like that. But what I usually do to protect the derailleur, and this is, like I say, it's optional. You don't have to do this, but I usually do just to make it, is everything's protected. And I just take and undo this right here. It's really simple to put it back on when you get there. I know you get a little bummed by doing all this stuff, so. Once you do that, you just sit it right in here like this, let it just hang down, and it just sits there. When you go to put it back, you just go like that. So it's like boom, and you just bring it back up like that and screw it back in. All right, so again, you don't have to do that. It just, the case closes easier, and I worry less about the derailleur getting bunched up when we go. All right, so once we do that, then I find a place for the seat. And you can put other stuff in here too. Uh, if you want to, you can put a pad around the seat post. You don't have to, but it's pretty well protected. Like that. Okay, and then this is where these guys come in. You drop these in. Kind of space them out according to a triangle. You ever take, put them down in between the spokes. It, you can always reach one of the pegs in here and go, go like that. You want to kind of not bend the, try to find a good spot between the spokes where there's no spot, spokes coming at an angle like this. And then you put these guys on top. Jared, I need to grab these. Yeah. Like this. And these will just, you know, they're going to be a flat thing. So if you notice, these are all higher than all the bikes. So none of the top case can come down on it. Then you take this top netting, lay this here. And sometimes I decide, oh, I want to move this one over. So sometimes I'll move this over one. So it's a little bit more evenly spaced. This comes up like this. This looks a little harder than it is, but if you see here, there's these straps. Go ahead and stop that video, Jared.